to Shangri-La Hot Yoga for your online yoga class. Um, my name is Melissa, for those of you who might be new to us, to one of our online classes. I'm the manager of the studio as well as a teacher here. This is going to be a 60-minute gentle flow class. So just like the name, it's going to be nice and gentle, slow. If you have props at home, I definitely recommend using them. If not, get clever with your props. Grab books, grab a towel if you want to instead of having a, a blanket. Or if you even have a blanket lying around, you can grab that and use it for support as well. Um, but I will give you lots of modifications. If you're a more advanced yogi, you're also welcome to make this your own and add in a little bit of flair, a little bit more, because we will be doing a lot of um, modified versions of postures, especially our chaturangas. Um, so do this at your own pace. Do what feels right for you. This is your practice, your body. You're in your own home. No one around to judge you on how you look. So take this as you need to. And we're gonna get started today in a comfortable seat. So whatever that means for you, you can stay here in a hero's pose on the shins. If that's not comfortable, maybe it's a lot on your knees because it does put a lot of pressure on my knees. You can come into a comfortable seat crossing the legs. So different options here. And then root down through the sit bone. So maybe you take a little bit of that flesh out from underneath you. Have the hands settle down onto the thighs, the knees. Hands facing down if you're feeling like more grounding this morning, or hands facing up if you want a little bit more receiving. And then you can close the eyes and find a soft gaze down at the ground. And starting with your nice, gentle, natural breath. Allowing the shoulders to soften down away from the ears, but lengthen up through, reach up nice and high and tall through the spine. And taking a second just to scan the body, beginning at the toes, making your way up the legs to the hips, the spine, your neck, shoulders, just noticing how everything is feeling this morning. Is there anything that's extra tight that needs a little bit more love? Are you feeling like you want to take things a little bit slower and softer? Are you feeling super good and you want to take things a little bit farther? and add a little bit onto your practice. Making sure that you're staying with where, where it feels right for you in your body. And as always, I like to start practice with a few cleansing breaths. And we just use those to let go, to let go of anything from outside of your practice space that's been bothering you. There's a lot going on in our lives right now. So we definitely want to try to release before we begin. So starting with a deep breath in, filling up the belly first, and then taking that breath up to the chest. Filling it all the way up to the top. Open the mouth, clear that out. And make these breaths nice and audible. Next breath in, fill up all the way. Let it go. Good, three more times, full inhale. Side out. Deep breath in. Big breath out. And this last one, we're going to hold at the top. So taking your biggest breath in yet, filling it up, holding at the top. Try to hold that breath in. Take one more little sip of air in. Really fill up. Open the mouth. Clear it out. Good. From here, you come back to a natural breath. Or you can always close the lips. Start to breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe you have an ujjayi breath as part of your practice, so you take a slight constriction to the back of your throat. And that's just going to be a more audible breath here with our ujjayi. It's our ocean-sounding breath. And then use that breath to create some heat in your body. We also use our breath to help us stay grounded on our mat. So when you find that your mind might be wondering, it's trying to think of other things in your life outside of your practice, just come back to that strong breath. Two more here. If you've closed your eyes, 
You can open the eyes up. And then from here, we're just gonna take the soles of the feet together to begin, so we're gonna open up our hips. But bring the feet kind of forward here. So we're getting more of like a diamond shape here in our Baddha Konasana, just because we haven't done much and our hips are feeling a little bit tight still. And then soften the arms long beside you. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up, reach high to the ceiling. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, lengthen back up. Exhale, lower it down. Do that one more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, prayer at heart. Inhale, prayer lifts. Exhale, soften it down. Inhale, hands reach back up high. Exhale, sweep the hands forward. Find a forward fold. Allow the hands to soften down to the ground. Keep the chin towards the chest, but just slightly away, reaching through the crown of the head, holding here for a couple of breaths, just finding your own edge. So maybe that's not very far. Maybe you're all the way up here. Maybe you're feeling really tight through the back, through the hips. Just finding your own place here in this forward fold. And using your breath, so every breath in, lift up a little bit, lengthen forward. Every breath out, come just a little bit deeper into that stretch. Two more. With your exhale, find your edge, sink a little bit deeper. Here, tuck the chin in towards the chest, rounding the spine. And with a breath in, slowly drift, lift the fingertips in towards you, rounding the spine until the hands come to the knees or maybe the thighs. And then lifting up. Inhale, open the chest up, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, pull away. So we're finding our little cat cows with our diamond shape in our legs. Inhale, broaden, lift. Exhale, curl. We're going to go one more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Come back to your neutral spine. Release the hands down beside you. We're going to do that a little bit faster. We're going to go through a breath to movement. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, sweep the hands forward, forward fold. Tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale, round the spine up. Pause the breath out, hands grab the shins, the knees. Inhale, open the chest up, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine, curl away. Come back to that neutral spine. Soften the hands down. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, curl the spine up. Hands grab the legs. Pause and settle with your exhale. Inhale, open up, cow. Exhale, round out, cat. Inhale, come back to your neutral spine. Exhale, hands down beside you. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, tuck the chin in, round up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, open up. Exhale, curl. Inhale, come back to your neutral spine. Exhale, arms come beside you. Good, from here, we're going to cross the legs. So you're gonna use the hands on the knees if you need support and bring those knees in together. Crossing the legs. And we're just going to roll over to either side and place the hands in front of us. We're working towards our tabletop, our stable table. Shoulders are above the knees, hips are above, or sorry, shoulders are above the wrists, and then hips are above the knees. And we're going to pull that navel in nice and tight. We want to make sure we're using our core to keep everything nice and long. And then press away, strengthen through your shoulders here, gripping through the fingertips. Inhale, lower the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, press away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to your neutral spine, your stable table. From here, we're gonna root down through our left knee. So all the weight comes into your left knee. You can tuck the toes if you need support. And then we're going to lift the right leg out from hip height. 
We're finding a little bit of balance here. Roll the pinky toe to face the ground and then press the heel like you want to step that foot on the back wall. Pausing here for a moment. If you want to, you can bend at the knee and just take some circles opening up the hip. So maybe you take a couple circles in one direction and then the other. And then we'll meet back at neutral, lengthen out, inhale. Exhale, sweep the leg out to the side. Place the foot down. So you want to be rooting through the outer edge of this foot here. Making sure that you're pressing down, you're strengthening the leg. And then from here, we're going to root down through our left hand. Or sorry, our... I'm like spacing here. <laughs> so right here, we're going to pull that navel in. And then we're going to start to walk the hands back towards the leg. Keeping that core tight. Inhale, rise up, coming to our gate pose. So reaching up through the fingertips. It's Monday, y'all. I always have a hard time on Mondays. Lifting up, lengthening through the spine, reaching tall through the fingertips. Maybe you slightly spiral those fingers in just to strengthen our triceps and our arms here. Full breath and reach up. And with your breath, you're going to take the right arm over towards that right leg. Find a little side body stretch. You want to take the bicep alongside the knee here on the left side. Making sure we're not pressing down through into that knee. So we want to keep our knee nice and safe. So hand is just gently resting on the leg. Keeping the belly button in towards the spine. We're lifting up towards the ceiling and then over towards the side. And we're going to find some fluid movement here. So take a breath in. And then with the breath out, we're going to start to lower that left hand down towards the ground. And then we're going to reach through center, sweeping over so the left hand is down. Inhale, reach the right hand up, finding a little modified side plank here. If you need to, you can always place something underneath the hand for support if the ground feels a little bit far away. And then reaching up through the right fingertips. Pressing away, gripping the ground. Pausing here. And then our fingertips are going to get nice and light. Reach back up to your gate pose. Or do that a little bit faster, right? So with a breath and lengthen up. Breath out, right hand comes down to the leg. Pause the inhale. Exhale, sweep the hand down. All the way in front of us. Left hand down, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, settle. Inhale, reach high. One more time, exhale, right hand down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, lift up, modified side plank. Exhale here. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands come down. From here, we're gonna inhale, lift the leg up nice and high. And your exhale, knee comes underneath. You take a second to shake it out. Your left knee might be hurting a little bit from being on the ground. So just take any movements that you might need between here. Pausing at center, full breath in. And then breath out, take the right shoulder over towards the right hip. We're just going to wag our dog. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, left shoulder, left hip. Come back to center. This time placing all the way into our right knee. Remember, you can tuck the toes if you need to. Lengthen that left leg out from hip height. Press the heel back. Flex the foot. Try to curl the toes towards the shin. Press the heel back. Lengthen out. Pause here. You can add on bending the knee and then just finding some circles. Opening up the hip. And then we will meet back at center. Reach the heel back. Inhale. Exhale, sweep that leg over to the side. Press down through the foot. If you need to, you can walk that foot a little bit closer to you in order to press through the outer edge. And then pull in the navel, start to walk the hands back. Inhale, lift up. We'll pause here for a couple of breaths just to find our stability, making sure we're lengthening out of the hips. We're pulling the ribs in towards each other and then reaching up like you want to touch the ceiling. Full breath in. Breath out, left hand comes down to the leg. Finding that side body stretch here with our gate pose. Still rooting through the foot. Hand is nice and light. Lifting up and lengthening and then reaching over with the arm. Finding that nice side body stretch through our right side. Preparing for that fluid movement. Inhale here. 
Exhale, hand comes down towards the ground. Sweep it forward. We're going to be with the right hand down next to the leg. Inhale, left hand up, modified side plank, pausing. Pressing through the, the legs, lifting the hips up. So you want to try to press the hips towards the ceiling. Reaching through those top fingertips, pressing away from the ground, strengthening our right shoulder here. We're going to use our core so fingertips get light. Inhale, lift up. Moving faster, exhale, left hand down. Pause the breath in. Breath out, hand comes down, sweep it forward. We're just opening up our spine here, right hand down, inhale, left hand up. Pause with your exhale. Inhale, up to gate. One more time, exhale, left hand down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, sweep it down and around. Inhale, open up, modified side plank. Exhale to settle. Inhale, core tight rise. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, leg comes out to hip height one last time. Exhale, knee comes underneath us. Take a second just to shake it out. Take any movements that you need here between. Coming back to center, full breath in. Breath out, right shoulder towards right hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, long spine. All right, preparing to move on here from our tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes here, press away from the ground the hands. Maybe walk those hands a little bit further forward. Pull the navel in, take a breath in. And then with the breath out, start to lift the hips high to your downward facing dog. It's our first down dog for our practice, so we definitely wanna take some movement. You're probably feeling tight. It's still really early on in our morning. So bending into one knee, then the other. Shaking the head, yes and no. This feels really good on my calves and hamstrings. Not sure about all of you, but I really like this movement here. And then when you're ready, no rush to get there, we'll find stillness in our downward facing dog. Try to spread the fingertips out nice and wide and press through the knuckle of your pointer finger. We're gonna take the weight out of our wrists. Spread the shoulders out nice and wide. Keep a bend in your knees as much as you need here. And then press the heels towards the ground. But our heels definitely do not need to touch. Good. Finding your stability here in your downward facing dog. Taking a couple breaths. And then from here, we're going to take a soft little bend in the knees. We're going to look towards the top of the mat. And then with a the breath out, we're going to slowly walk the feet in towards the hands, meeting in our forward fold. I recommend having the feet out nice and wide, so at least hips width apart. Just bring a little bit of space in here. And then pausing with the knees bent, place the belly onto the thighs. Grab opposite elbows here and allow everything to hang heavy and start to sway back and forth in your ragdoll. So just finding some movement. Maybe you shake that head again, yes and no. Trying to release the spine. So this feels really good on the low back. Trying to let go of everything in our spine all the way down to the neck and the face. Letting go of all those muscles. And then we'll meet back at center. We'll meet back at our neutral spine here. Release the hand all the way down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands meet shins or maybe all the way up to your thighs. Wherever you need to be able to reach through the crown of the head, pull the navel in. Nice flat back here. Gaze stays down towards the ground. Make sure your neck is nice and long. Full breath in. Breath out, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Keep a soft bend in your knees here. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, roll the spine up to standing. Nice and slow here. Your head is the last thing to lift up. Rolling the spine all the way up to our mountain pose and then rolling those shoulders back in together. Our palms face forward and press the fingertips down towards the ground. We want to find a nice solid base here in our mountain pose. So lift the kneecaps up, engage your quads, and then pull the belly button in. 
Press the fingertips down, but reach up through the crown of the head, lengthening the spine. Pause right here, take a full breath. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up to your high mountain. Keeping that stability here, we're still strengthening our legs, our core. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Pause your hands at heart. Close the eyes. Take a couple of breaths, maybe finding an intention for the rest of your practice. Taking a deep breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Open the eyes back up. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Keep a soft bend in the knees as you fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the palms down onto the mat. And then step the feet back to a high plank, but lower your knees down. So we're coming to our supported plank here. Shoulders are right above the wrists. Pulling the navel in, keeping the core tight. Press away from the ground, strengthen your shoulders here. So you're just slightly doming through the upper back. Gaze is down and forward. Full breath in, shift slightly forward. Breath out, bend the elbows, hug them in, and slowly lower. Nice and slow, as slow as you possibly can. The elbows are tracing the ribs, and we're lowering all the way down to the mat from here. Untuck the toes, plant the shoelace sides of the feet into the mat. Inhale, lift the chest up, baby cobra. So we're just barely lifting, you're squeezing the shoulders together. Gaze is down, lengthening through the neck. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower it down. Couple more times. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Pressing into our palms. Inhale, come up to your tabletop. Exhale, sink the hips back. Child's pose. Couple of breaths in our child pose. And this is going to be the chaturanga that I cue. So this is my chaturanga for our gentle flows. Adding in our child's pose for support, using our knees. If you have a different version of chaturanga as part of your practice, you're more than welcome to find that here. Or just follow me in our guided chaturanga. You can always skip it as well, meet in down dog, or just take a child's pose. Next breath in, come up to your tabletop. Breath out, tuck the toes, and lift your hips to your downward facing dog. So we're gonna do that a little bit faster. We wanna try to get our heart rate moving a little bit. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, root to rise. Reach up all the way to your high mountain. One big movement. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold back down. Just building some heat. Inhale, lengthen half. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms. Inhale, step it back. Lower the knees. Exhale, bend the elbows. Lower all the way down. Inhale, open the chest, baby cobra. Remember, you can always come higher if it feels good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stable table. Exhale, child's pose, sink it back. One big breath. Clear it out. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, soften the knees, look forward. Exhale, find your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, prayer to heart. Inhale, prayer lifts. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold. Pause right here. We're going to keep our right foot forward towards the top of the mat. Inhale, step the left foot to the back. Lower the knee down, at least for the beginning. Remember, you can always grab a blanket here and place it underneath the knee if that feels better. Sometimes, you know, it can be a little painful to have that knee down. You can untuck the toes, your choice. And then rooting through the feet. Pull the hips in together for support here. We're going to take the hands. We're going to start just by walking them up to the thigh. So this is step one. Press away from the thigh. So open up the chest. And then sink nice and deep into the hips. So just come a little bit deeper here. So pressing away, lifting up through the crown of the head. Settle in. Couple of breaths, coming a little bit deeper with every breath out, sinking into your hips here. So you should feel this a little bit in that back hip flexor. We're using our breath. Deepening in. Last one here. Good, rooting down, inhale, reach the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down to frame the foot. From here, we're gonna tuck the back toes and we're gonna lift that back knee up. And then we're just gonna start to walk ourselves over towards the side of the room. So the toes are in, the heels are out here. So coming into a little bit of a wide leg forward fold. We're not gonna hold here for too long at first. We'll come back later. Take a full breath in. And then take a breath out to fold a little bit deeper. Good, come back up to your halfway lift. Come back up onto your fingertips. And then place the hands onto the hips. Pull the navel in. Inhale, reach the spine up, come to your standing. And then we're just gonna walk our feet in a little bit. So heels are in and toes are out. Inhale, reach the hands up, come to your star pose. Lift the kneecaps up to engage the quads. Lifting up out of the hips, reaching the fingertips high. Fullest breath in, reach up. And then with a breath out, hands come to heart center, bend into the knees and sink into your goddess. So you don't have to come very far here. And just notice we need to walk the feet out a little bit wider, a little bit closer. But you're sinking nice and deep into the hips. You're pressing those knees out and open. So knees come out towards the pinky toe edge of your feet. And then sinking nice and low into your hips. And just pausing for a couple of breaths, finding a new edge with every breath out. Last full breath. Inhale, rise up, straighten the legs, reach the hands high. Exhale, hands are going to come to heart center. Good, from here, we're just going to point ourselves towards the top of the mat. And we're going to step ourselves forward, coming to standing at the top. So now we've found ourselves in standing. Inhale, we're going to reach the hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Inhale, step it back. Lower the knees down. Exhale, chaturanga of choice. Inhale, broaden your chest. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hips back, child's pose. One big breath. Inhale, come up to your stable table. Exhale, toes tuck, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. And we're going to work that a little bit. Of, uh, well, on the other side here, bend the knees, look forward, find your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Good. So this time, left foot stays forward. Inhale, right foot steps to the back. Lower that knee down. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Just making sure that that left knee is right above or slightly.
slightly behind the ankle. Pulling those hips in towards each other, squeezing the glutes, and then walking hands up to the thigh. Pausing for a few breaths. So I like to settle in here, especially in our gentle flow, because it helps you to really stretch out your hips here. Really nice support for our hips. Remember, you can always grab blocks if that feels better, and place hands on two blocks. So kind of up to you what feels good, but having hands in the thigh is a nice support as well. Press away. Pull the ribs in, lift up through the crown of the head and find a couple of breaths settling into that front thigh. But I just like to take little micro movements in and out of that front leg. That way with every breath out, I'm finding that edge and I'm stretching through on my back hip flexor. Last breath. Settle into your lunge. Root down through the feet, inhale, lift the hands up, low crescent, exhale, frame the foot with the hands. Tuck your back toe and lift the knee up. So just an active lunge for a moment here for transition. And then start to walk the hands over to the other side. So once again, toes are in, heels are out. Inhale to lengthen forward, exhale to fold down. Come back to your halfway lift. Hands come to the hips. Inhale, lift the spine up. This time, heels and toes out. So just switching the way that your feet are here. Finding your own stance. So it might be wide, might be short. Inhale, reach up to star. With star, we're reaching to the ceiling. Imagine you want to touch the ceiling with the fingertips, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Big breath in. Breath out, hands come to heart, and then bend into the knees. So finding our goddess. This time we're going to place the hands onto the thighs. We're going to come into a little bit of a shoulder stretch. Take a breath in at center. And then with the breath out, we're going to take our right shoulder down, pressing into that thigh. Look over towards the side of the room. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, left shoulder down. Inhale, lengthen one more time. Exhale, dip the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, dip the left. Good, come back to center. Hands to heart. Inhale, rise, star. Maybe the quads are burning a little bit, so just take a second to find any movements that you might need. Hands come to heart, then to your hips. Start to face towards the front of the room. Just step that back foot forward, finding our standing at the top. Inhale, reach up, high mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Inhale, high plank. Lower the knees. Exhale, flow through. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Deep breath in. Let that out. Inhale, come back to your tabletop. So from here, we're going to find that flow just a little bit faster. So just listen up carefully because we're going to modify it a little bit to go breath to movement. This is just where we get our heart rate going a little bit. So tuck your toes, make your way to your downward facing dog. Inhale, soften the knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Right foot forward. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, settle the knee down. Inhale, reach all the way up to your hot, low crescent. So skipping the hands and knees. Exhale, hands back down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Start to walk yourself over, toes in, heels out. Full breath in, lift up to the fingertips. Breath out, lower into that fold. Good, lift up, hands to hips. Inhale, rise up, heels in, toes out. Exhale, hands to heart, find your goddess. Inhale, come back to your star. 
Exhale, hands to hip, face the front of the room. Inhale, step forward, fold, or to our stand. Good, reach the hands high. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step it back. Find your own version of your flow. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stable table. Exhale, child's pose. One breath. Just one more time through. Inhale, up to your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just gotta even out our sides. Inhale, bend, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, prayer to heart. Inhale, prayer lifts. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold. This time, left foot forward. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, knee comes down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the back toes, engage that leg. Walk yourself over, toes and heels out. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, fold. Hands come to the hips. Inhale, rise up, heels and toes out. Reach up to your star. Exhale, hands come together. Goddess, just here for a moment. Inhale, extend back out. Good, from here our hands are gonna come to our hips, face the front. Step that foot forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Good, from here, finding that flow. If you wanna take the modified or maybe spice it up. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. And this time we're gonna rest in our child's pose for a couple of breaths. So we've gotten our heart rate going a little bit. We probably are feeling a little bit hotter now that we've done our breath to movement. So take a few breaths in your child's pose to slow it down a little bit. Just kind of slightly bringing that heart rate down. And maybe you find open mouth exhales if you feel like it's gotten a little bit too high and you want to reduce that a little bit. So finding how you want to find, spend this child's pose. One more big breath. Side it out. Inhale, come up to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. All right, so some of this is gonna look a bit familiar in this next flow, but then we're gonna add a little bit on as well. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Keeping that right foot forward. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, lower the knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Tuck the toes, lift the knee. And start to walk yourself over to your wide leg forward fold. So this time we're gonna hold for a couple of breaths in our wide leg forward fold. So take a breath in to lift up, lengthen. And a breath out to fold forward. So you can see right here, you can grab the legs with the hands. So lots of options for a wide leg forward fold. You can let the head hang heavy towards the ground. We're trying to bring the weight forward into our toes and out of our heels here in our wide leg forward fold. So bringing that weight forward, letting the head release towards the ground. And just pausing, feeling that nice length into your spine. One more breath. 
Good, lifting back up onto your fingertips. So just coming slightly up, placing the hands onto the hip. We've been here before. Inhale, lift the spine up. Reach the hands high. Exhale, hands come to heart. Come down to your goddess. Just here for a breath. Inhale, reach, star. Hands come back to the hips. Look forward, step forward into your standing. All right, so we're gonna build on from here. We're gonna do a little bit of balance. Inhale, reach high. First, we're gonna come into our chair. So with your exhale, bend the knees, sit the hips low. So weight is into the heels and out of the toes. Pausing for a couple breaths. You can have that biceps alongside ears for more challenge or just the hands at heart center. And then sink the weight back. Pull the ribs in towards each other. Find a little bit more length in your low back and sink a little bit deeper. Two more. Last breath. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come back to heart center. Take a second if you need to shake it out. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of balance here. So from our standing, we're gonna place all of our weight into our left foot. So spread those toes out nice and wide. Hands will start at heart center. Lift the knee up. And then cross the right leg over the left. So we're finding our eagle legs. So from here, you can kick stand if you need support using the toes on the ground, pressing the thighs towards each other, and then sinking nice and low. And we haven't been doing much shoulder stuff, so we're just going to keep the hands at heart center. We're not going to add arms here for our eagle. So sinking nice and deep into the hips, more so just engaging the legs and working on our balance. So get a little bit lower, pressing the thighs together, lifting the chest up. So we want to keep length in our spine here, rolling the shoulders back and together, come a little bit deeper. Good, almost there. Keep the gaze down for support. All right, from here, lift that knee back up just for a moment, and then settle it down and shake it out. All right, continuing on. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Flow through a chaturanga. Meet in their inner tabletop or child's pose, or your down dog if you're finding your more advanced chaturangas. So maybe you're finding that modified version that we've been doing. Maybe you're skipping the chaturanga. Meeting in child's pose for one breath. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. So we just have one more side of our standing before we bring it down and we stretch it out. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, melt. Left foot forward. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, knee softens down. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the toes, lift the knee. And start to walk yourself over. Good. We're holding this time. So lift up halfway. Fold forward. And then pause right here in your forward fold. This time I'm going to get the option for a little bit of a stretch. If you would like to, you can walk the hands over towards the right leg. Maybe you just keep the hands on the ground. You can always place a block under the hands. If it is accessible, you can grab the leg and pull yourself down. This is an option. It feels better to stay in that one leg forward fold and just stay right here center. You're more than welcome to. Remember, weight is into the toes. Releasing the head down. If you're on the one side, go ahead and switch over towards the left. Try not to lose your breath here. So continue those deep breaths, maybe that ujjayi if you've been using it. If you're towards the leg, come back to center for two. Last breath. 
All right, lift up onto the fingertips. Grab the hips, pull the navel in, and rise up to standing heels and toes out. Reach the hands high, start. Exhale, sink low, goddess. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Hands come to hips. Look forward, step to the top of the mat. All right, doing the other side of our chair and balance. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands can come to heart, reach forward, sink down to chair. If you have like some pain in your shoulders, hands at heart always feels better. I know I've been kind of battling a little thing with my shoulder. So for me right now, hands at heart feels the best. So just finding what works for your body, but making sure you can lift those toes up a little bit and wiggle them, sinking the weight back. We're only here for another two. Keep that breath strong. Sink low. Final breath. Good. Inhale, reach high, extend. And hands come to heart, working our balance on our other side. Rooting down through the right foot. Remember, we're not adding in our arms, just our legs. Lift that left leg up. Keep the gaze down for support. Start to cross the leg over the right. And then sink down like you're sinking into a chair to find those eagle legs. You can keep the toes on the ground as a kickstand. It's going to be the most supportive. You can always do that single or that double wrap if that feels better. So we're working our hips a little bit here. We're pressing those quads together. So engage the quads here to find stability. Remember, keep the gaze at the ground if you're feeling a little wobbly. And then sink that weight back a little bit more. Lift the chest up. So we want our spine nice and long here, making sure we're not leaning forward. And then coming a little bit deeper. Keep that breath. Sink it low. Last one. Find your edge. Good, lift that knee back up. And then step it down and shake it out. All right, working towards the ground. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Final chaturanga if you want it. Taking your own version here, modified or normal. meeting in child's pose. Few big breaths in our child's pose. Deep breath in. Clear it out. Full inhale. Big exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. Let it go. Come back up to your tabletop. And then just sink the hips back and take a seat. And you made it. You made it to your seated postures. All right. So we are down in our seat. So we're going to come back to our bottom panasa. I just notice any differences from when we did it in the beginning. So placing the soles of the feet together with the knees out wide. And maybe you can scoot those heels in a little bit closer towards your glutes. So just notice if you can bring it in a little bit closer here, if the hips are feeling a little bit more open. And this time you can place the hands on the shins, the ankles, or the feet. We'll take a breath in to open up the chest. And then a breath out, you're going to pull yourself down towards the legs. Pausing right here. So if you want to, you can take it like we did before and just walk the hands forward. If it feels better, you can keep the hands on the legs, pressing the knees out. And if none of this feels good, you can just take a normal forward fold, extending the legs forward. So it's kind of your choice what feels best here but reaching through the crown of the head, keeping the chin towards the chest, but just slightly away. So you want a nice long spine. Make sure we're not really rounding down here. Finding length in our low back. Big inhale. Let it go. Last breath in. Release. And then slowly lifting that spine back up to center. Placing the hands onto the knees, pulling the knees in, reaching the legs forward. So we are going to come all the way down onto our backs. And we're going to do it slowly just to get a little bit of core engagement here. So do it at your own pace. 
reaching the hands forward, pause the big breath in, and then the breath out, start to slowly lower. So taking this nice and slow, we're here for five, four, three, two, one, come all the way down, all the way laying down onto our mats. All right, from here, walk the feet in. So the feet are in where the heels are kind of close to the glutes here. And we're going to take the right ankle and we're going to cross it over the left thigh. So we're going to find a reclined figure four here. You can either stay here pressing the hand into the knee, making sure we're flexing the foot. If you want a little bit more, if you're not feeling enough, you can interlace the hands around that left thigh and pull it in towards you. If you're doing this, flex both feet as much as you possibly can and use the right elbow to press into the knee to open up the hips. So those are your two options here. Whatever you need to feel the stretch here in your outer hip, your IT band. Relaxing the shoulders to the ground. Even if you're grabbing the leg, making sure you're not lifting the spine up. We're letting those shoulders relax down. Pausing and breathing. You can always come back to your natural breath at this point. As we begin to slow things down. grab your leg, release the foot back down, but keep your legs in your figure four. So you're going to have to like look closely and listen closely for this one because you're not familiar with it. It might seem a little confusing. So we keep our legs in our figure four, but we start to bump our hips over towards the right and place that right foot onto the ground to our left. Does that make sense, hopefully? I mean, I guess I can't really hear if you say yes or no, but hopefully you got the, the gist of it. So we're keeping our legs in our figure four, but we're just allowing the foot to soften down. I'm going to show you this way just in case so you can see it a little bit better. So you're keeping that foot on the ground. Maybe you use the hand to pull the foot in a little bit closer here. So if that foot's a little bit further away and you want a little bit of a deeper stretch here, you can pull it in. Still relaxing the shoulders down. I'm going to go back to the side I was on before. <laughs> if you want a little bit more of a twist, you can reach that right arm out and maybe place the gaze over the shoulder. And we're getting towards that final resting pose, so you're always welcome to close the eyes and keep them closed at this point. That just helps us to prepare the body and the mind for our rest. And if this is uncomfortable at any point, you're welcome to just come into your regular supine twist. And when you're ready, Slowly unraveling the legs. Coming back to center, place the feet out to mat width apart and just windshield wiper the knees back and forth just to neutralize a little bit between the sides. And then we will come to center. This time we're going to keep that left, that right foot rooted down and the left foot is going to cross over ankle over thigh. Flexing the left toes towards the shin, pressing out on the knee, staying here. Or maybe you want to grab behind the thigh and pull it in, making sure you're using the elbow to press the knee out and you're flexing both your feet. So no lazy feet. We're going to be flexing them. That way you feel that stretch a little bit more. And then staying here for a few reps, finding your version somewhere that you can hold. It's okay if you're stretching and it's a little bit uncomfortable, getting any pain. And if you ever do half pigeon and you feel pain in that posture, this is a really great place to go instead. So you can always recline on your back and find your recline half pigeon, which is what this pose is. It gives you the same stretch, but just with a little bit more support for your knee.
Trying to relax the shoulders into the ground. Relax the face and furrow the brows. If you grab the leg, release it down, coming back to this figure four shape. Once again, we're gonna take the hips over toward the left this time, and we're gonna take that left foot, and we're gonna place it onto the ground, reaching out through the left arm, rooting down through that left shoulder, and that foot does not have to be really close to you. If, if it feels better for that foot to be far away, that's more than okay. If it feels good to pull it in, you can pull it in for a deeper stretch. If none of that feels good, just come to that normal supine twist with the knees stacked. This should be a nice relaxing posture. We're just using like this little modification with that figure four legs, just to get a little bit deeper into our outer hip here. I just want to start to relax everything. Relax the body, relax the mind, relax the breath, coming back to that natural breath. And slowly unraveling the legs. Come to center, windshield wiper, back and forth. Let it go. Finding any last movements that you might need here. And we're gonna end with our soles of the feet together with the knees out wide for our Supta Baddha Konasana. So just like what we did seated, but now we're lying down onto our back. So butterfly legs. It's just a fancy name for a reclined bound angle. Supta Baddha Konasana. You can have a, one hand on the belly, one on the heart, and just feel the breath and the heartbeat. And if it feels really good, you can stay here for your Shavasana. Or if you want to, you can come towards that traditional Shavasana, align the legs to fall open, maybe kicking things that are nearby, reaching the arms out along beside you, taking up lots of space on your mat, and just letting go. And then once you've found that spot that you want to rest in, give yourself permission to just be here. To enjoy these last few moments of your practice in stillness. To let go. To enjoy. And I'll call you back next time.
to return to your body. Notice if you benefit from a few more moments in your Shavasana. You're more than welcome to stay here as long as you would like. If you are ready to reawaken, start to find movement into the fingers and the toes. Get that movement into the wrists and the ankles. Reach the arms long above you. Take a full body stretch. Lengthen out, waking up. Knees come to the chest, roll onto either side, come to a fetal position. You can use the bicep as a pillow for the head. Then when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Placing the hands at heart center, eyes are closed, or gaze is soft down towards the ground. Taking a moment to release all the air out of your lungs. And filling up all the way to the top. Open the mouth, clear it out. Take a moment to show yourself gratitude for taking time out of your day to show up on your mat. For taking time for your practice. And most importantly, for taking time for yourself. Show gratitude to all those in their own homes practicing at the same time as you. Sharing their energy. And I'm grateful that you all decided to join me in your practice. From my heart to each and every one of yours. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. Once again, my name is Melissa and this is Shangri-La Hot Yoga. If you have been enjoying these yoga classes and you would like to donate to the studio, you can do so through Venmo or MindBody. We have those links on our Facebook if you want to find them. We appreciate every little donation that you've been making and all the support we've been getting for the studio. Um, thank you all so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.